Hello Pisces, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to jump right into your weekly reading. I do have personals open and on sale right now. You can receive a three question recorded video reading for $20 or an hour long Zoom reading for $50. And everything that you need to know about scheduling is in the description box below for you. We are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. So we're going to be taking a look at the person that you're dealing with, or will be dealing with, and your energy as well, Pisces. I, the words I heard when I laid down this seven of wands was challenge accepted. Somebody here is determined, okay? Determined to make something right here with you, Pisces. That's their intention. They want to come in and express their truth to you. They want to bring something back into balance. They want to fix something here between the two of you, okay? They could be expecting some kind of resistance from you or recognizing where it may be a challenge. Um, but that's where I heard that challenge accepted. This person is feeling very determined, Pisces. And their action here, Ten of Pentacles, really seeing the value. You know, the Ten of Pentacles can be everything that we want. It's also an energy of something that holds a lot of value. It's something that is long-term stable, uh, permanent in our lives, okay? It's like this person is seeing that they want you in their life for years to come, Pisces, and that they are willing to do whatever they need to here in order to make things right between the two of you. Let's look at your energy here. Queen of Swords, Nine of Wands, and the Temperance card. Okay, I like this. You know, I think you're at least willing to hear this person out, Pisces. The Queen of Swords to me, and most of the traditional decks, this Rider Waite deck, you know, she has one hand out and welcome and her sword up in the other. It's like, okay, I'm willing to, like, I'm willing to hear what you have to say, but I'm also willing to cut you off the minute I sense any kind of crap, you know, any kind of anything. I'm willing to cut this right off. So I kind of feel like that's the space. I feel like you're coming in with some very high guards up and boundaries when it comes to this person. I do feel like this person has a lot to make up for. This person could have really hurt you in the past, okay? But I feel like you're willing to hear this person out. You're willing to have this conversation. You're willing to sit down and talk about these uncomfortable things. To me, the Queen of Swords can be a, a card of, you know, clear, open, honest communication. It's also a card of, like, hashing things out, having those those, convers those big conversations, right? But your intention, the Nine of Wands. To me, I'm feeling a couple different things from this, okay? For some of you, the Nine of Wands can be an energy of being willing to continue to work for something, even though you've been through a lot, even though you, you're you tired and you're exhausted and this has been hurtful, a part of you still willing to continue to fight for it, right? That isn't ready to give up. That being said, I also feel that the Nine of Wands sometimes, you know, he's been through so much that he kind of can have his head on a swivel. Like he's always expecting the other shoe to drop. He does, even here, there's like a, a wall of wands, you know, around him. I do feel like you are going into this conversation with this person very guarded um, and kind of in, kind of anticipating the worst case scenario. Just not fully trusting it or feeling a little bit on edge. But your action here is the temperance. I like that. The temperance is a card of balance, making peace. It's a card of compromise. And it's also a card of transformation. Uh, it's the alchemical process. The thing with the, the type of transfer, I think I say this every time the temperance card comes out, but I think it's so it's such an important element to uh, the card of 
it is a part of transformation, but it is the kind of transformation that you would see if you start to go to the gym or you start a diet, right? It's something that is a slow and gradual process. It's something that you have to show up for every day, right? You, it takes time. That's why it's a card of patience. It takes time and consistency. Um, but you will, if you continue with it, you will see that change in transformation. I feel like this is something, I feel like you're not, you're, you're very wise, Pisces. You're not going into this expecting an overnight miracle. I think you're coming into this conversation understanding that real and true lasting change takes time, but you're willing to compromise. You're here for it, you know? What's the blockage between the two of them? Four of Swords in the reverse. I would say a couple of things with this as well. Communication in general, especially if you guys have went, uh, some of you guys have went through a period of no communication. Just starting that back up again, right, can be challenging. I would also say feeling unsettled with the way that things left off between the two of you. Feeling unsettled moving into these new conversations um, with feeling a little bit distrusting, with it bringing up a lot of stuff, okay? And these conversations could be kind of triggering. There's also a need to make sure that you're willing to take time, okay, to contemplate when some, and to reflect on, you know, what's being said, reflect on the, the contents of this conversation, What's the potential outcome this week? And keep in mind, these are just weekly readings. So this is just going to be the outcome for the week. We have the seven of, ooh, seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like even after that, and I think that's why you need this time to contemplate and to reflect and to process. Because it feels like even after these beginning conversations, I do feel like you see that this person is determined and not wanting to give up. And I feel like you are understanding that things are not going to change overnight, that it's going to take time. But I also feel like by the end of these first initial conversations this week that you are still not sure if this is something that you want to invest your energy into again, open yourself back up to again, if this is something that is a good investment or not, you know, um, if it's just a waste of time or if you're just opening yourself up to get hurt again. And maybe that's why you're being asked to take the time to to really reflect on it, to process, you know, allow this slow and gradual change to happen. You have to give that enough time to see before you jump all in. You don't have to jump right all back in, you know. Um, so we are going to get you some advice as well. What advice do we have? You have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Cups in the reverse sometimes to me can be at like a... A couple different things. One, I feel like you're being asked to take a look at your dream and vision that you have for yourself and asking yourself if this is something that is in alignment with that or not. I think that really will help you with this decision. I also feel, Pisces, that sometimes the Knight of Cups in the reverse can be speak about having a change of mind or a change of heart. I feel like maybe there's been enough hap that has happened here that you're starting to realize that maybe you don't quite have the same feelings that you once did. Maybe your feelings have um, shifted in some way. And you're just being asked to ha take the time to, to sit with that and process it, okay? We're going to grab some just additional messages and then another advice for you from the Oracle deck. We have forever changed. And this could be talking about them as well as you. You know, like I said, I feel like you have realized that you have your feelings and energy towards the situation has shifted. This person has shifted as well. And that's why they're coming back with these realizations of what they really want and what's important. They're coming back with this determination. They're seeing this resistance. They're seeing that you're resistant. Um, but that's where that challenge accepted came in. They're, they're ready to fight for it. 
unequal give and take. Maybe in the past you gave and gave and gave, um, and you know you never got that reciprocated, and that could be part of this hesitancy that you're wanting. And I also feel like that can be advice as well, because we don't have to go all in. You know, give a little bit, and if they match that same amount, if they're giving that amount too, then maybe you can give a little bit more. And as long as they're matching your energy, then you can give a little bit more. You can increase it little by little, okay? and no effort. Yeah, in the past, this person, it was very unequal give and take. They didn't put any effort in. And I feel like you're, you're. this is something where you're gonna need to see it this time around. And there's nothing wrong with that, Pisces, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, Pisces. So I definitely feel, especially with this deception here at the bottom, there's some trust issues as well. I think this person could have, for some of you, this person could have, you know, been um, betrayed you in some way. All right, now this advice can be something that Spirit wants you to just be aware of, work on, or just reflect on. The mind is a powerful place. Are you creating any stories? Sometimes things are not as bad as we think it will be. And one way, one example of this is there was this, this this event, okay, that I was really dreading going to. Um, I'm a hermit type Scorpio, okay, I'm not a social Scorpio. And I was kind of dreading this event. I really did not want to go. And in my mind, I was just picturing just how horrible it was going to be. Um, but I went, I went, okay, and it was a blast. And I was so happy that I went and I was just like, surprise and in all the best ways okay sometimes we can do that we can create these stories spirit just wants you to reflect on where you may be doing that in your own life where you may be not doing something or going after something or starting something because you just feel like it's going to be so bad and spirit saying maybe it's not going to be as bad as you think but that is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling personals, Patreon, the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and for supporting me, and I will see you soon.